uh, hi students so in this video we are going to explain the process of relative grading uh, this is one of the process that is widely followed and i am going to explain it first there are other processes also i'll explain those also briefly so uh, for example i have this course there are few evaluation components there is project 1 for 20 marks quizzes for 40 regular evaluations for 20 and end semester for 20 so total becomes 100 so out of 100 there are these students who got respective marks someone got 70 some got 80 also someone is getting in 60s even low marks like 13 so every type of marks students are getting so in the end we calculate that what is the average so we will calculate the average and uh, that is calculated from L2 till L132 okay uh, I think I wrote the spelling of average wrong yeah right so average is 64 okay now uh, out of 131 students the average is 64 then we calculate one more thing called standard deviation standard deviation means uh, I have student marks for student number one how far is it from my average then for student two how far is it then for all those distances we will take the average and that is called standard deviation which can also be calculated with the formula and uh, let me just search it here it is standard deviation for l2 to l132 with an average of 64 and the standard deviation comes out to be 16 okay so these are two important numbers that we use for calculating the grading the grading is done like this at the average marks we give BC and then we take half of standard deviation for changing each grade on plus and minus side so half of standard deviation is 8 so 64 plus 8 is 72 so anyone from 64 to 71 they will get BC 72 plus 8 is 80 so 72 to 79 is B 80 to 87 is a b and 88 above is a coming to the downside 64 minus 8 is 56 56 to 63 is c minus 8 is 48 to 55 is c d minus 8 40 40 to 47 is d and anyone below 40 will get f so this is how the relative grading is done using standard deviation formula now as and if I take this if I take this example then for these 132 students I got none getting a grade 10 students getting a B then 36 40 it is making some sort of bell curve so it is not a bad grading but as an instructor in consultation with higher authority we can decide to change these grade boundaries and this is just an example that grade boundary of BC which was from 64 to 71 it can be changed it may not be applicable every time please remember only in some cases if approved it can be taken so some grade boundaries are changed and new grades are decided like this so we can now see that the students they will be getting new grades depending on whether we calculate them using standard deviation or manual grading so final grade can be decided like this there is one way one another way of grading which is also something like relative grading in that what we do we are going to select all the students okay only the marks and we are going to calculate who got the highest marks 
okay so we are going to sort it based on their total marks from largest to smallest whoever got the highest marks okay we are going to scale those marks 200 so we will say it is equal to l3 into 100 divided by l3 okay so this is uh, this is scale 200 instead of l3 i should call it 85.78 okay so the highest scorer gets 100 and then i scale everyone with this ratio so students are getting 99 and 89 and all these marks with respect to the topper and then we say anyone from 100 to 91 they will get a 90 to 89 b a b and for every 10 marks we will reduce the grade okay so 90 uh, 200 is a 8, 81 to 90 is a b 71 to 80 is b that is also a different way of relative grading it is followed at some places by some instructor when the students in the course are very low like 10 students 20 students or 15 students like that in that case relative grading process is not applicable because we don't get enough data for that so in that case we just go with the boundaries which are decided by the instructor that okay i am giving 85 above a 70 to 85 i am giving something so those grades are decided in consultation with other colleagues and uh, there is nothing to do with the uh, relative grading process in those courses so I am sure you understand the process now there are some standard guidelines using the standard deviation but the grading boundaries can change so do not assume that if you are at average marks you will definitely get BC there is no guarantee for that and do not assume that if you are above certain marks you will get definitely this grade so those things are not guaranteed these are only tentative statistical values which can help you to predict the grade to a tentative range not perfectly okay yeah thank you everyone